All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. Crypto Vin here, Crypto Vin YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Hello to my crypto enthusiasts and fellow GPU miners. Thank you for watching as always. Much appreciated. Uh, when you get a chance, uh, if you want to, I'm having a $25 Bitcoin giveaway, free to enter. Check out my giveaway video and follow the Gleam link located in the description. As always, if you have any questions or comments, or if you want me to look into a project to GPU mine, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. All right, so today I have a project here. It's called Admore. And I'm going to do a brief review on it and how to GPU mine it. So what is Admore? I'm on their webpage, admore.io. I'll leave that in the description of the video. The world's first platform that offers fair rewards to contributors. We do decentralized passive income. And here they have a join us button and a white paper link. And up here, we have a lab, which we'll get into a little bit later, and the block explorer. Looks like some social media links on the side here. Direct-to-consumer decentralized platform, collaborative computing of private data in order to build a new era of value data sharing, empowering you to a new life, developed with a purpose to change the world and bring freedom back to you, providing a new age network rewards to give more opportunities for a financial freedom. Data availability and reliability in decentralized platforms has restricted adoption since the inception of smart contracts. Admore provides a standard framework for the decentralized management of data, serving as a fundamental query layer for applications that requires access to off-chain information. This eliminates the critical centralizing trust and points of failure that the Oracle problem typically introduces to decentralized applications with other designs. Here's their roadmap. Our team is working hard to stick with the timing. The roadmap will never exceed one year ahead. We will add new plans and futures regularly. Okay, so it looks like the concept started in quarter three of 2018. And it jumps to quarter one of 2020, launch, peer network, major, OS wallets, custom, fast blockchain explorer, master no guidance script, and bounty campaigns. So they do have a wallet. I'll get into that in a minute. And it looks like the project just started, so there's probably going to be good rewards for miners. You can read about what they have in store in the future when you get a chance. Like I said, I'm just doing a brief overview. Problems and solutions. Problem. Response time. In the network, every transaction must go through a validation process. In terms of the number of transactions standing in the queue, they usually have to wait a long time for their validation. For instance, in the Bitcoin network, it takes around 10 minutes to build a new block. The more transactions standing in the queue, the more time it takes for processing. This increases during peak times, up to one to two hours. Solution, add more network. Compared to Bitcoin's 2,000 validated transaction per 10 minutes, add more does 200,000 the same time. No peak times because of the diversified reward system where masternodes and miner unite together and reduce the transactions in the queue. High fees. As the popularity of crypto grows day by day, the process of confirming transactions becomes more complicated. Because mining demands higher computational power, every payment demands fees. If you want your payment to be verified more quickly, you can pay a higher fee for it. As the network is expanding, a lot of new users want their transactions to be processed. That's why a lot of unprocessed transactions stand in the queue waiting for their validation. The solution, add more network fees, extremely low fees. It depends, again, on network difficulty, but still close to zero or zero. Limitations. Scalability problem involves limitations. When a new transaction is processed, every node adds information about it to the ledger. 
In this way, as payment history increases, there is a danger of bu buckling the overall system. Add more network. We produce every single minute, 60 seconds. Proof of work and masternode secure the network as rewards both parties. 20,000 add masternode collateral. Problem, block size. Initially, the capacity of every block in the Bitcoin blockchain is one megabytes, and every block could contain 2,020 transactions. However, the number of transactions has increased in the network, causing another blockchain scalability problem. The time-consuming process of transaction execution. Solution, add more network. Capacity of a block in the add more blockchain is four megabytes, where it could contain up to 20,000 plus transactions. Reducing the blockchain scalability problem of the most known cryptocurrencies as con conducted before it happened. As proof of work in masternodes, network ignores a monopoly by miners and the need uh, of more time to participate a transaction to the blockchain. Okay, I believe that's it for that. Here's the specifications of the coin. The ticker is ADD. Uh, retargeting. It looks like it retargets every block using the DGW protocol. Uh, type proof of work masternodes. Uh, max supply 50 million. Algorithm PHI2 masternode collateral 20,000. Block time, 60 seconds, master node start, 5,000 block. So here are the rewards. Currently, 5,000 to 1 million, you get 10 add. Master node, 40%, minor 60%. As you can see by the block, we're at 7151. So uh, the highest rewards are occurring right now. Executive team, here it is here. And you can check them out more in depth when you get a chance. It looks like they have some LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook links here. There's some advisors. So it looks like they plan on expanding the team at some point. And the documents all coming soon. And the wallets. So this talks about the PHI2 algorithm. It's FPGA resistant. InstaSend. InstaSend could revolutionize cryptocurrency by shortening the delay in transaction. Confirmation form as long as an hour to as little as a few seconds. Private Send. Private Send uses an innovative process to mix your inputs without ha having your money ever leave your, the wallet. You retain control of your money at all times. Here are the wallets here. I did Windows. Some partners. Looks like nothing there yet. Frequently asked questions, generally, how can I participate? Uh, mining, staking, or buying from an exchange. There are no exchanges listed yet. Where to get add more coming soon. Where are the ways for miners and assets owners to be rewarded? Proof of work and masternodes. There's some masternodes, uh, frequently asked questions. What is a masternode? You can read that when you get a chance, if you're interested. What does it take to set up Masternode? Uh, I believe I said it was 20,000 add. What are the technical requirements for running a Masternode? First, you need a collateral of 20,000 add. And you can two, two core, uh, one CPU core, two gigabytes of RAM, 25 gigabyte disk space. So you can read that more when you get a chance if you're interested in running a Masternode. Here are the masternode rewards currently at 40%, but it increases as time goes on. So let's re let's click on lab. Okay, so there's nothing linking lab yet. So that's must be something that's in the works. I'm not sure. Um, let's go back, click on the white paper. Again, coming soon. Let's go to the Bitcoin talk. Um, I do want to advise you, there is a warning here on Bitcoin Talk. It says, one or more Bitcoin.org users have reported that they believe that the creator of this topic 
display some red flags which they make them high risk. While the Bitcoin.org administrator does not verify such claims, you should proceed with extreme caution. So if you're interested in the project, you want to look more into it, obviously that's something you want to investigate. And basically this is the same thing as on their internet. So let's scroll way down here. Are the wallets, links, explore, website, discord, uh, miners. I'm using NVIDIA. Let's click on that. So you want to use Z enemy. We'll get to that in a second. And pools and exchanges coming soon. So basically, all you're going to be able to do right now is mine this. So it would be, uh, you know, something speculative if you wanted to mine it. Uh, let's go to salt pool. I'm using saltpool.net, which I, I, I'm liking this pool. I'm not endorsing it. You use whatever pool you want, but they make it easy for you here. You're basically going to copy this command line here for add more. Let's go to simple mining group config. And of course, you're going to want to download the wallet and get your address. As you can see, I'm mining it right now on Sol Pool. I'm using Z Enemy 9.1. And here's the command line here. Pretty simple. Um, dash A is the algorithm you're using the algorithm, like we said before, PHI2. Dash O is the mining pool address here, port 8332. And my uh, receiving address, public receiving address here. After dash U, you want to put yours in there. And C equals add, it's telling the pool what you're mining or want to mine. So let's add group. You're going to go down to Z miner. I'm sorry, Z enemy miner. Click on that. I'm using CUDA 9.1. Use whatever you feel as you, though you need to use. I like to click on show more option info. Because it, it shows you, you know, what algorithms this miner covers. And we can go down and see PHI2. Of course, LuxCoin does use PHI2 as well. But uh, this is where you want to put C equals add because it's ADD is add more. It's telling you that you're mining add more using the PHI2 algorithm. So we're going to replace this here with that command line. I'll have that in the description of the video. Group name. Again, I usually put the name of the project, group description. I put the pool in, in Z Enemy 9.1. So let's go to rig list. And, and as you can see, I'm successfully mining and I'm, I'm getting shares. There we go, right there. Okay, shares, okay. And it looks like I do not have this overclocked according to this algorithm. Um, that's why you see Blake2b up here. That's my overclock setting for Blake2b. Um, but uh, overclock it the way you want it. And of course, at your own risk. And as you can see, I could probably tweak it up a little bit more. All right. My GPUs are running very cool. And... Running at, I'm only using 202 watts. So I hope this helps. I hope this gets you started fast. If you're interested in add more, uh, let me know what you think of the project. Are you mining it? Have you heard of it before? Are you mining it, mining it now? Do you have anything you want to add? Um, please leave in the comment section. Don't forget about my Bitcoin giveaway, $25 free, uh, free entry. Uh, check that video out and the Gleam link in the description of that video. And most importantly, please subscribe, like, and share. Hit that notification bell. Uh, it would be much appreciated as I'm just getting this channel going. So until next time.